Hey, and welcome to This Is My Architecture. My name is Peter from AWS, and I'm joined by Tim from Cal Poly. Hey, Tim, it's great to have you here. Hi, thanks for having us. OK, Tim, so first and foremost, tell us a little bit about uh, Cal Poly. What do you guys do? Um, Cal Poly is a best in the West university, uh, which means for public uh, colleges, we are the, the best in the Western United States. And we really focus on the, our polytechnic mission, which is a more technical curriculum, so focusing on computer science, engineering, agriculture, and kind of taking those into the future from a technical perspective. Okay, sounds good. So you are obviously working with AWS services, right? But there's something much more than you know just creating architectural solutions. It's a DevOps approach that I'm uh, seeing here. Is, is, that, is that right? Yes, we're trying to take um, what is traditional a, a traditional education approach of being kind of behind the curve on technology and really jump that into the future and focus more on innovation to kind of keep the mission of the college in the forefront and 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 you know which is teaching students, keeping that polytechnic fo focus and and le and allowing us to focus on innovation. And the way we're doing that is with our partnership with AWS and really leveraging DevOps to kind of evolve how we work. Okay, so. It's DevOps. Uh, we see something on the board right now. But OK, I mean, we can start off with uh, CloudFormation. You could tell us a bit about what's going on there, OK? Right. So um, as we do this uh, evolution forward, mm -hmm. what we're mm -hmm. trying to do is, is kind of reinvent how we work. Mm -hmm. And the way that we're doing that is by focusing on the foundation mm -hmm. and making that solid as, before we progress into the more innovation um, and more uh, innovation with our services. And so what we're doing is really putting security first. Mm -hmm. And where we would traditionally go in and design a service, bring it to our security office and say, help us secure this. You know, okay. What can we do to make this better? What we're doing is br bringing security to the table mm -hmm. uh, right up front in the design. Okay. And what we've kind of outlined here is how we're doing that with CloudFormation mm -hmm. and our deployment of uh, accounts and VPCs. OK, sounds really good. So well, just guide us through. Sure. So what um, what we're what we're really doing is trying to focus on infrastructure as code because mm -hmm. um, we want to make sure and remove the uniqueness that we mm -hmm. uh, would mm -hmm. traditionally get by doing everything mm -hmm. by hand. Mm -hmm. And so uh, what we're doing with CloudFormation first and foremost is using it to uh, focus on our uh, access mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and uh, security management. And what we're doing with that is uh, really trying to set up our IAM roles to make mm -hmm. sure that everything is uh, least privileged mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that we can get our um, 22,000 students and 5,000 faculty and staff kind of in there and working in a way that um, they have what they need and only what they need. OK, understood. So there's 22,000 students that you're dealing with, uh, creating right. all of these accounts and roles and to making sure that you manage this on a specific security level. Exactly. Uh, sounds really good. Uh, there's other things that we can see here. There's AWS Config, there's some Lambda. Uh, tell us a bit about this. Yeah, and so um, when we give our uh, faculty, staff, and students access into this environment, mm. what we want to do is make sure that they don't any do anything to kind of hurt the university, their mm. service, mm. and um, you know uh, what we're trying to do is set up some guardrails so they don't have to mm. think about mm. um, how to do that. And so that's where we're really leveraging AWS Config and Lambda in support is to set up those guardrails so as we provide access and as they start getting into the environment and, mm. and you know building services and tool sets, that um, they don't have to worry about the security. We can kind of keep them within a, a, a the box, boundaries. basically, yeah, okay. keep mm. them in the boundaries. Mm. And when they brush up against that, that we can uh, make sure that you know they stay safe and secure and that our, our campus is protected. And so where AWS Config has a, a, a lot of great rules to kind of help us do that, mm. um, uh, you know, we leverage Lambda to kind of add um, kind of fill in the gaps and kind of add um, some custom. See, uh, see. Tweets so Lambda complements basically what AWS Config does, would, uh, yeah. would offer. And um, so the way I would uh, assume it works is that uh, once someone is um, you know making changes on their accounts, um, then Lambda would take action and uh, and you know uh, roll back changes. Or how does it work? Yeah. So basically, we leverage Lambda to as we see actions um, by users that we don't necessarily uh, want to take place, we can you know. Uh, Scan for that basically, mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, have an automated response. Okay. So it really helps the security office, so they aren't in there manually having to make adjustments. We mm -hmm. can uh, more programmatically uh, correct for any kind of mm -hmm. uh, mistakes mm -hmm. that we see. see. Okay. Very interesting. Good. So there's one more thing left: CloudTrail. What's up with right. this? So the other bit that we leverage CloudFormation for is um, CloudTrail, and what we're basically doing there is ensuring that. Anything that happens in the environment, we can see and mm -hmm. we can log, and mm -hmm. we ship those logs off to a security account mm -hmm. for our security office to make sure um, you know, everything is operating smoothly and mm -hmm. securely. Okay. And so that's what we're leveraging CloudTrail for, is to really have that kind of um, audit and check on the environment to see what's going on and if anything kind of see, deviates. See. So there's someone involved on that side, outside of the account structure, to watch and to understand what's going on, if there's any right. breaches 
All right, sounds really good. OK, so well, then we have this box here. It's a VPC. There's a couple of subnets in there. What's up with this? Yeah, so the last bit that we want to focus on is, as I mentioned, as we kind of grew um, as a campus, mm -hmm. uh, we band-aided service together, services together, and we didn't necessarily secure everything from the beginning as we yeah. wanted. And so really what we're doing here with this VPC design and the associated subnets is trying to make sure that uh, we limit traffic and we protect um, our data versus mm. what um, the mm. public is accessing. Mm. And the way we're doing that is by, within the VPC, separating out the different subnets and mm. using NACLs to kind of do that mm. protection. So one of the subnets um, would be public mm -hmm. and the other being private. Mm -hmm. And really the, the goal there is uh, as the public interacts with our services, we want to keep them you know, in a, in a specific box and mm. really not let them have any inappropriate access to the back end. And so that's where we're leveraging these two different subnets mm. and the NACLs to make sure that, you know, anything that is public facing can only very explicitly access the back end on uh, ports and protocols and services that we specify. All right, Tim, thank you very much for this. And uh, thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having us. And uh, thank you for watching This Is More Architecture.